Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. Welcome back to another match day vlog. Following blog, vlog, following the Drogheda and Dundalk one last night. St. Patrick's leg travelled to Tal Stadium today, kind of winless Shamrock Rovers, which is hard to believe, really. Um, my head's up my arse today. I forgot my vlogging stick, so we're going to have to go uh, manually, so to speak. Um, look, it is a very interesting game. It's Paddy's Day, it's Shamrock Rovers and St. Patrick's Athletic, of course. Um, both level on the table on four points. Um, I'd be more concerned about passing them with Rovers of Amanis, which I think Rovers are having a bit of a blip. They are three times champions. I think they've been a bit unlucky in some of the games. Red cards costing them badly. Um, and I think they dominated Shelburne and could have easily won that match the last day as well. So I think they've been performing better. Um, and it's only a matter of time when they win, whereas Pats have been... I was trying to be kind, but let's be real, they've been diabolical the last number of games in particular since that 5-0 defeat against Dundalk, which was just nowhere near good enough. And um, the slide on Bowles results and performances weren't great either. Conceding a lot of goals, making a lot of mistakes. It's hard to see that being eradicated so quickly because confidence is going to be down to add to, to that as well against a Rovers team that are capable of turning it on on the day. The feeling that they might turn it on today as well. But um, looking forward to the vlog, guys. Um, obviously... I am a Pat supporter, so hopefully they can put in a performance. They need to show a bit of spirit today, though. Um, you know, fans will forgive anything, but um, you gotta put it, you gotta show a bit of spirit. So hopefully they show that today. It mightn't be good enough if Rovers are on it, but um, let's see what happens. It's a big, big Dublin derby. <laughs>
Right, so guys, trying to catch my breath after that one, Shamrock Rovers 2, St. Patrick's Athletic 2, which was a very entertaining game, say for the neutral, it was a great game to watch. So many chances in the game, uh, a lot of poor defending, I might add as well, but a lot of opportunities in the game. Four goals, um, Rovers still winless, um, Pats would be happier with the points because they came away, they were behind twice in the game. Richie Tell scoring early, uh, decent low strike into the net, Um after Pat's kind of her big art architects are a downfall, giving the ball away cheaply. Um and then an Owen Doyle penalty in which he got fouled, correct decision to make it one all. Um a lot of opportunities in that first half as well. I mean, every time Rovers came forward, I thought they were gonna score. Practically every time Pat's got forward, I felt they were gonna score. Second half, I thought Rovers took over. A couple of little chances, Burn then scores a screamer to put them two one up, Jack Burn that is. And you go through a phase in the game where you feel Rovers could get a third and that could be it. I thought Pats were a little bit vulnerable. Um, a lot of chances for Rovers. They dominated most of that second half. But then Bradley made some substitutions and he brought on extra defenders. Lee Grace, for example, came on for Johnny Kenny, who I thought did well. Actually stretched the pass defence very well, Um, for example. And... Adam Murphy came on for Pats and met Mulraney then later on as well. And I thought Murphy made a big difference in that midfield for Pats. Gave them more legs in the middle of the park. Um, so he did. And I thought he did very well, actually. And Mulraney, I mean, scores an absolutely brilliant goal. He was excellent when he came on. That goal was brilliant. Um, to get Pats a point. But Pats, I suppose, hung on after that because Rovers had two or three great chances after that to score. And they didn't convert. And uh, look, it was very enjoyable. St. Patrick's Day game to be honest which are very enjoyable we'll do a review show and we'll go more in depth in, into it but that's my initial thoughts after the game very entertaining uh rover still winless which is a big big concern for them after six games you have to say um and they concede another late goal i suppose pats will be i said at the top of the video that they lacked spirit in the last number of weeks but you have to give them credit because they came from behind twice in this game to get a point out of it they need to build on that now to be honest and and get going but um yeah Really enjoyed it, lads. Let me know what you think of the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit your bell notification button. And thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.